Hey guys, it's Sand here, and today I'm going to be speedrunning Minecraft for the first ever time. I've also never beaten Minecraft legit for the first time. Um, so, my first ever time beating Minecraft on single player legitly is a speedrun. So, I found a seed on FSG generator, and um, it was a great seed, so I planned out the whole run and decided to beat Minecraft for the first time on single player. I'll also be doing a commentary over the run, but you can find the whole run in the description. So, Enjoy the video. Okay, I know it's annoying that you don't see like the full screen because I'm like I change I adjusted the size. I don't play full screen normally. I spawn in, and there's a Nether portal and a village because it's an FSG generator. And as you know, the chest contains a looting sword. I think it's a looting two sword. So I get in there, get some iron nuggets. I have my flint and steel there. I get a gold pick, which is always useful. And then I'm heading to the village. Alright, something I must stress for the run is the food is very limited. I have nine bread there. I take the potatoes just in case and I get four apples. There is another food chest, but the food is very limited in the run. So I'm now collecting my beds and I'm just going to be looting this village. So I'm just going to collect some more wood, because wood, reliable, reliable block, like you get over a stack from mining, like, only for like, probably 10 seconds, anyway, I stack up here, Iron Golem doesn't want to cooperate and walks away from me, but I just punch him, gotta get them crits, alright, so I get my iron, uh, it's a total of 3, which is the minimum I need, because dying, uh, dying nuggets, sorry, uh, Definitely enough. I just need to create my portal, which the, the, it's pretty much a lava pool at the um, ruin portal part. So I'm just gonna make. My, I just made my portal there. But I'm officially in the Never. Pretty fast, actually. Pretty fast. Here I am. You don't really see anything off the base, but as you see, I dig through a wall, and a bastion is uh, right, like, just there. It's literally there. I pick breaks, because it's a gold one. Picks gold ones break fast. And I am officially in a bastion. Right, uh, it's also a bridge bastion. Um, the safest bastion, which I'm very happy about, because I can't do bastions. I don't want to learn routes and I get low there but obviously I'm just gonna eat and there's a little chalice that I'm gonna get my gold from and I will be starting to trade with some piglins very soon uh, also yeah I'll point out the fortress there as you know that this is if you were observant uh, on the thumbnail well not the thumbnail but on the little intro uh, you could see this the place where I recorded it Anyway, uh, I'll be going in and improvising my own little bridge bastion routing. Not the one, not the most popular one that is like first research result on YouTube. I just do a pretty simple one where I um go and break a chest or open a chest and uh, piglins will be coming for me and I just throw some gold at them. There were two failed attempts before where I uh, failed at this point because one, because... I accidentally punched a piglin too because um, a piglin just like it didn't go for the gold. It just attacked me and it didn't go for the gold that I threw at it. Anyway, so I go put some gold in there just to start off, just in case load of piglins are very angry at me. Alright, so I'm out my bastion, uh, and now I'm just going to head to the fortress, hopefully get some blaze rods, um, with my looting sword, and yeah. And I'm just going to obviously just setting everything up, get a fire res off, so the blazes won't set me on fire. Also, I'm not really gambling on things, because I 
because I just want to get a run. So I go Pell. Very close to lava, but obviously I have fire res. Go get some blocks, which uh, is soul sand. And I'll be stacking up to the fortress. Okay, so I'm now at the blaze spawn. I activate it. My first uh, blaze drop is two rods, thanks to my good old looting sword. And we're just going to see our, our blaze raids. So I obviously just mine out the spawner. Also, you should follow my Twitch. Um, I do stream uh, probably at least once a week on either a Friday or a Saturday. And I might be live now uh, reacting to the 1.7 Caves and Cliffs update. Anyway, uh, two more blazes spawn. And let's see our rates here. I uh, get a very weak from the um, melee damage from the blazes. But I eat and get healed up. Whip out my looting sword. Another two rods. I'm on five. Just need one more. Because I know it's a zero eye, so I just need one more. And I don't know why I'm focusing on multiple blazes, because I literally only need to kill one. And there's the one I killed. Yeah, one blaze rod only. Here, I know exactly where I have to go to to um get to the stronghold. So I'm mining to the exact cords to get to the stronghold room. And so I just don't waste any time trying to like dig down when I'm in the uh, overworld. Right, so I go and light my portal. And see where it puts me here. Three, two, one. Boom. Right in the stronghold room. And I place down a bed because it's inevitable. Come on. I'm going to die at the end. Also, I don't know why just this happens. Like, why do, like, silverfish things just randomly just kill? Like, it's so annoying. They just randomly break. And another one randomly breaks. At least they are one shot with a fully charged um, stone axe. Right, so I go uh, into the center of the lava, and I will be going to craft my eyes and entering the end. Okay, so I have my ender eyes. Boom, 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 boom. In the end. Okay, so normally, um, if I'm a good speedrunner, I'd have maybe a three minute, e a three minute end, but I'm not a good speedrunner, all right. So. I bridge over, because I know I'm going to die, and I obviously have no blocks, so I bridge over to the island, and I just, I can't do end fights, I can't bed cycle, my best ever is like an 8 bed, and I do have more than 8 beds, but I feel like I'm just going to mess it up completely, because the dragon's perch is just unpredictable. So, now, um, is a death montage. As well as this, I will be showing some minor parts of the success of me um destroying the towers. So yeah, yay, yay, I guess. Woohoo! Yeah. At this point, I was also very scared that I lost my bow. And, um, uh, I think I did. I was so glad that I'd stirred my string and wood that I could craft a new bow. So, thank God for that. I also had my arrows, even though I lost my glue. Arrows, it's, it's fine. It's fine.
So after all that, I finally got rid of all the towers, and I could finally try and go for the dragon. And this is the moment where I completed my first ever Minecraft seed run and first ever time beating Minecraft single player. Legit. This run had a final time on speedrun.com of 38 minutes and 44 seconds. I know it's not great for a set seed run, but the goal was just to beat Minecraft for the first time. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm really close to 100. Hope this video could get me there. Goodbye.